Hey guys, no video for our Myths About Japan playlist, which might answer the question posed in the title of the video. One of our patrons on Patreon sent a message and said, have you seen this story about kids not eating breakfast in Japan? What do you think? So, it sort of touches on some things that we've talked about in previous videos. That that question from that patron triggered this video, but also some other things that we've witnessed this week as well sort of fall into the same sort of category. So to answer that person's question, what it was, there was a, a what do you call it, a questionnaire sent out by one of the government departments, the health department perhaps, asking asking about eating habits for kids elementary school students junior high school students and high school students and it was asking them you know do you eat three meals a day and and how, how often do you miss meals and, and the statistics were that one in four students was missing breakfast three or four times a week or something like that so there's statistics, as, as is, we talked about this on a video recently, that quite often these stories start with some statistic, right? So in this case, okay, the statistic was that a certain number of, of school students are missing breakfast every morning, okay? And then the, the thing that, that sort of made it interesting was that then they asked them why, and they said it was because they were too busy. So we've got elementary school students and junior high school students saying they are too busy to eat breakfast, right? And it seems like everybody just accepted that. That the government department didn't seem to ask any more questions. They just accepted that that was the answer. And the, the media source that, was, uh, that we saw this through, that was shown to us by the patron, um, seem to just accept it as well and, and, and in fact as we talked about in that previous video they loved it because then they made the title of their story you know uh, school students in Japan too busy to eat breakfast right um, and just ran with that you know and as we said in that previous video you know it doesn't tell you the whole story and they haven't they haven't pursued it any further than that you would think that any sort of half half sort of reasonable journalist would would question that and say wait a moment you're telling you're saying elementary school students are too busy in the morning to eat breakfast right but elementary school students can't spare 15 minutes in the morning to eat breakfast wouldn't wouldn't you question that before you reported on it and and because this is what happens see everybody just reports on it and then they repeat it someone else will pick it up and because they love running with stories like that because you know it sounds dramatic doesn't it Japanese kids are so busy that they're too busy to eat breakfast right and this is why we prefer to get our information about Japan and present the information about Japan on our videos based on what we experience and what we see and the furthest we will be from the reality will be a Japanese family member or Japanese friend telling us that something they saw. That's as far as we get. We don't, we don't take stories from Wikipedia or from, from the internet and repeat them to you like they're fact, right? We just don't do that because we've seen too much of this. This is why we started that Myths About Japan playlist because we see nonsense about Japan every day. So what we experience in relation to this and what we see from our Japanese family members and friends and neighbours and everybody else is, is not the case at all. And, and we've got lots and lots of examples. We were talking about this earlier today in our household. Um, because our kids and the other Japanese kids all lead the same life. So we know how busy they are. We know how much time they have. And... There's no need for any kid in Japan to be missing breakfast because they're too busy. What a lot of nonsense. What a lot of nonsense. How can anyone actually report that like it's a fact, right? What it is, is a combination of poor time management and, and weak parenting skills or the lack of parenting at all or something to do with the parents, right? Um, we, 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 we're talking about this morning, we could think of lots of examples. The, the one that came to mind straight away was one of our neighbours and 
their house is a fair de distance away, but they have a really big screen television, right? A really big one. And, and at night, as soon as the sun goes down, from as soon as the sun goes down, you can see the image of their big screen television straight through their curtain. So when we look from our house, we look across a big vegetable field and you can see their big screen TV glowing through the curtain and you can see what's on it. So if there's a movie or if there's an anime or if there's, there's a, a computer game being played, you can see it, right? And so the computer game with the explosions and the characters running and all this sort of stuff. And we see that, that big screen with the computer anime, the computer games being played on it pretty well, well any time it's dark. Pretty well any time it's dark, where we park our car, we get out of our car, look across the, the vegetable field, there's the big screen glowing through the, the curtains with the computer game being played. And the kid that lives in there is about 11, and and he just, he just sits in front of that screen. So we don't know what he does in the afternoon, but um, at, at night, he's sitting in front of that screen till any time, 9 o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock at night playing his computer games, right? And then um, he has to run past our place in the morning to meet his group of kids to walk to school. And every morning he comes running through, dropping things, picking things up, panicking, because he's late every morning, right? Now, no doubt, if that kid was on the questionnaire, do you skip breakfast sometimes, he would say yes. And when, when it had the list of reasons why, no doubt he would have put, he would have ticked too busy, right? Too busy in the morning panicking and getting ready. And the reason is, is that he's been up too late playing computer games and he slept too late in the morning, right? And we know, we know lots of examples of that. We know lots of examples of that. And, and we know for a fact that the same, that kid goes to the same school our kids go to and we know but if our kids get up now, it is early. Japanese school tends to start early and they tend to go early because there's so much faffing to be done during the day. They like to get an early start on the faffing. So, so the kids really have to be up at 6.30 in the morning and they have to be out the door by 7.30. And if they do that, they, they won't be late for school. And if they do that, they have at least 20 minutes for breakfast, right? Every day, never miss, never miss breakfast. So it's just nonsense. It's just absolute nonsense to try and tell people that elementary school students are too busy to eat breakfast. What a lot of nonsense, you know? Too much time's being wasted um, up at night, and it is really common here too. You will see kids in family restaurants here on a, on a school night at 9.30 at night, um, having dinner with their parents and you know, looking at their, playing their computer game in the restaurant, 9.30 at night in a family restaurant, not uncommon at all. Those of you who live here will know, will have seen that for sure. And it's just, it's just sort of, there does seem to be a generation at the moment of weak parents. And, and, and this has come up a lot in our world recently because um, poorly behaved kids, you know, we've been experiencing some poorly behaved kids and it's inevitably because of their weak parents that just don't have the parenting skills or, or, just, or just don't seem to get involved. You know, we, we showed you another myth story a while ago about about um, the kids in Japan being given, and how did they word it? Again, it was in the mainstream media, and someone asked us about it, about Japanese, oh, they called it Japanese kids, how independent Japanese kids are, right? And it was, it, the story was presented like it's a wonderful thing. Isn't it wonderful how independent Japanese kids are? And yeah, yeah, there's an element, again, there's an element of truth to that. It is good that, that, that Japanese kids are independent in some ways. However, quite often that independence, as we mentioned in that video at the time, that independence verges on neglect. Or, or, or more than verges on neglect, quite often that independence is straight out neglect by the parents. And it sounds harsh, and no doubt this is another one of those videos that won't be popular. You know, there's some people hate videos like this because it's too, oh no, it gives them a bad vibe or something, and they don't want to hear stuff like this. But it's the truth. It's the truth. We, we, we see with our own eyes lots of examples of, of kids not being guided properly by their parents and end up being little, little rats 
you know, behaving really badly because their parents aren't guiding them. Um, we see kids being pretty much neglected, just sort of left, you know, left at home while the parents go do other things and just sort of left and, you know, little kids, way too little, six-year-olds walking home along busy roads on their own in the afternoon and really dangerous, you know, really dangerous stuff. And I mean, yeah, look, great. Independence, kids being independent is a wonderful thing. No doubt about it, you know, that's all good. But when it, when it goes to the point of neglect, when it goes to the point of kids not eating breakfast in the morning, that's neglect, isn't it? You know, it, it's just no, no other way to look at it. You know, there's no, there's no, no kid in Japan who is too busy to take 15 minutes in the morning to eat breakfast. That's straight out neglect. The parents and are not uh, controlling the situation well enough. They're not getting the kids up and getting them moving and getting them to eat their breakfast and getting them out the door. And this, this thing about the too busy thing, you know, we've talked about this before. Japanese people, not, not every, again, not everybody, but the majority, majority go on all the time about how tired they are and how busy they are. <clears throat> we made a video a while, about, a while ago about hardship and suffering. And that's the image. And again, those of you who live here would have experienced this. People go on and on. It's sort of about this, oh, life's hard. And, 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 and if you're, you're, you're going through hardship and suffering and you're tired and you're really busy, too busy and it's too much, if, if that's what your life is like, then that's good. Then that means you're trying hard, you know, and that's a good thing. Um, if you're really on top of your life and you have it all under control and your kids are eating breakfast in the morning and, you know, you're working hard but you're getting everything done and, and you, you're on top of it and you're relaxed and you're well rested and you're well fed and well balanced, sort of like, it's sort of seen like life is too easy for you and that you must be cutting corners or you must not be working hard enough or you must be lazy or something. And this, this, is, this is the Japanese way of thinking, often, not always, mostly mostly that if a person's relaxed and happy and well fed and well rested and they're on top of everything and they've got everything under control and their time management's you know organized that they must be lazy or they must not be working hard enough or something so the way they see it and this isn't sort of this isn't necessarily thought through this is just sort of a subconscious cultural deep-seated way of thinking so that the automatic response everybody has is how hard and how busy and how tired and how and how, how, how much they're trying, you know? And they all do it. The adults do it, the kids do it, everybody does it, you know? And they do it for each other. The other thing that set this video, this off was, we visited some people this week, and, and their house, the front of their house was really small. There was only enough space for two cars, and a little bit more space just to walk through, you know? And it was a mess. There was weeds, as we showed you, as you can see, looking out the window here, you know, in summer in Japan, the weeds and everything just grow really fast, you know, and, and boom. And so if you've got any sort of outside space at your house at all, you have to stay on top of it because the weeds will shoot up, you know, two metres tall in no time, you know. So we went to our friend's house and the, the front yard was a mess. There's a bicycle lying there and a, and a tyre pump where somebody had been pumping up a tyre and just left the pump there and there was a half, half blown up at the soccer ball and and there's weeds all over the place, including on the front steps, you know? And it's just a mess. It's just a mess. And it was like, I, I sort of made it a sound like, whoa, you know, all these weeds on the steps. And a Japanese person who was with us <coughs> said, oh, he must be very busy, right? And that's, that's a typical, typical Japanese response. If someone isn't doing something, if someone's being slack, then other people will make an excuse for them. So the, the Japanese person who was with us said, oh, uh, you know, he must be really busy. You know, he must be really busy, right? So, so okay, yeah. So we went inside and dad and the son are sitting on the sofa playing video games. And they actually sat on the sofa and played video games for about three hours, right? And then... So on the way back out of the house, you know, the weeds on the front steps had a different sort of a thing because, you know, really, it would have taken, it would have taken 10 minutes to, you know, pull a few weeds out of the front steps and, you know, pick up the bicycle pump and just make a little bit of an effort, you know, but obviously you could see that no effort. Oh, the other one was the letterbox was full. 
there was all these things hanging out of the front of the letterbox. So it was obvious that it hadn't been emptied for a long time. And it was like, it's like, it's weird. It's like unfathomable. Like, how can you, why? Why would you not empty your letterbox? You know? And why would you not just, you know, take 10 minutes to tidy up the front of your house? It's really small. <coughs> We're talking about probably oh, three meters by or maybe four meters by maybe uh, six meters or something like that. Really small space, right? But just a mess. About as messy as you could make an outside space like that, you know, a little space like that. Unbelievable. And again, this that's an example, but we know lots of people that are the same. We've got neighbors that are the same. Um, we know lots of people that are the same, you know? And we've actually made a video a long time ago about the bike thing. They just pull up on their bikes outside the house and drop them and walk inside and end up with all these bikes all over the place in the front front of the house, you know? And so it's sort of like, and again, the other people will say, their friends and family, oh, he must be busy, right? So it's sort of like a, it's like a huge cop-out. It's like a huge cop-out. Oh, he's so busy, so he's not keeping his house tidy. You know, he's, the, the kids, you know, and, and that'd be the, the parents' excuse. There'd no doubt there'd be Japanese people. It, when we used to have comments on our videos, um, quite often, Japanese people would watch this, our videos and their comment would be an excuse. You know, a video like this, a classic response from a Japanese person would be, oh, the parents pro don't, don't have time to make sure the kids get their breakfast because the parents are too busy. Right? That'd be a classic Japanese response to this and no doubt, no doubt, you know, and, and, and this is what we hear because this is what our Japanese friends and family say. You know, when we're with them and we see something like that, or a topic comes up, and because we're talking about it this morning, about the kids not eating properly in the morning, and oh yes, well the parents are really busy. That's just a cop out, you know. It, 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 how, how much and, and and priorities? That's a cop out. What what is? How can you be too busy to make sure that your kids eat breakfast? Is the first question. And the other thing is. What are your priorities that are more important than making sure that your kids eat breakfast in the morning, right? It's just nonsense. It's absolute nonsense, you know? And, and this, is, this is from someone who is busy and who has children, you know? It's, it's not hard to put out, it takes five minutes to put out uh, some healthy food and say, sit down and eat that till it's gone. That, you know, five minutes is all it takes to do that. And the kid sits there for 15 minutes and it's gone and then right, okay, get dressed, time to go to school. Right? It's not hard. All that stuff about too busy and too hard and it's all too hard. It's all nonsense. Total nonsense. And again, we know because our lives are the same. Our lives are the same as these people that are saying they're too busy and it's all too hard. So, <clears throat> so... <laughs> It's sort of it, it's sort of a bit frustrating. Those of you who've lived here for a while, who are watching this, would, would probably be sitting there nodding your heads in agreement because it just gets a bit a bit ridiculous. And particularly, we live here, right? And that was the, that was the weird thing too. That story was reported by an English English language media, but it was a media that's based in Japan. And it's like it's hard to believe sometimes. It, well. It's not hard to believe, as, as was mentioned in that video previously, quite often these guys are just after clicks and attention, and it worked. You know, they wrote that story. They wrote that story saying, saying Japanese kids are too busy to eat breakfast. When they put that as the title, they knew full well that it'd get lots of views. That's why they did it. And again, if you, if you actually research a story properly, and, and present it honestly, it's not going to be as dramatic, and it's not going to be as provocative, and it's not going to get as much attention. Uh, it'd be accurate. It'd be accurate, and it'd be it'd be accurate, and it would be conveying some some the full story to to your readers or viewers or whoever you're uh, telling telling the story to. Um, but that's not necessarily what they're what they're trying to do, is it? They're trying to get attention and views and clicks on their ads and, and that's what they're, they're trying to do so so again as we've said lots of times before these things that you see on the internet about Japan you know the more of this the more the people are sending us stuff like this all the time and it's just never ending and it's just the majority of it's not balanced and not telling you the whole story 
it's always it's, it always seems to be about being as dramatic and provocative and as as sort of you know isn't Japan weird or isn't Japan I don't know another planet you know we're in actual fact you know the reality of that story the reality of that story is a story you know that, that Japanese parents are neglecting their, some Japanese parents are neglecting their kids and and you know and using using the they're too busy uh, excuse for, for for not looking after their kids properly you know and you can see what happens then that perpetuates it from when they're kids to when they're adults you know everybody's claiming that they're too busy to, to do the things that they should be doing you know so it's just it's you know it's a myth it's a myth it's another myth no they're not too busy to eat breakfast <laughs> It's poor time management. They're spending too much time at night doing other things, going to family restaurants at 9.30 at night and, and playing computer games and, and doing all the other stuff. I mean, they've got homework and stuff as well, but so have our kids, you know? They, they can get their homework done and still have lots of free time and still go to bed at a, at a reasonable hour and wake up early and get everything done and not be tired, not be tired, not be too busy. That's all nonsense. You know, and again, that's our kids, that's our neighbours' kids, that's all the kids in our life, our, 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 our nieces and nephews and all the other kids that, that are in our lives can all do that. And, and a lot of them do, a lot of them do. It's up to the parents, obviously, it's up to the parents. This should all, also go on our How to Do Stuff in Japan, um, Raising Kids in Japan playlist, shouldn't it? Because it's one of those, isn't it? So, but any decent parent is going to be able to see through that nonsense straight away anyway you know elementary school kids too busy to eat breakfast what a lot of nonsense anyway there it was more videos coming soon